All right, welcome to Win TV, everybody from the to, uh, from the Team Potomac Job Corps. How are you all doing? Doing great. We're doing fantastic here at Potomac. Wonderful. We're getting a little bit of feedback, so we'll figure out where that's coming from. But I'm, I'm so excited to introduce uh, the center director, Carl Hilliard, uh, the business community liaison, uh, Robert Willis, and uh, Hantangamana. Etienne, who is a student at the Potomac Job Corps. Welcome again. Uh, and gosh, 57 years. We were born the same year, uh, the Washington Informer and Potomac Job Corps. So happy birthday. Well, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Hillard, tell us about, you know, the Potomac Job Corps and, and how, what, you know, where the center is and what the resources are that you all offer there. Yes, the Potomac Job Corps Center um, has been around for quite some time. The, the Potomac Job Corps Center, the vision is, is to take youth and uh, equip them with the academic, the personal skills, and the vocational skills and put them back into the local community with viable skills that will correlate to receiving uh, a viable career, making decent wage, working six months, 12 months after initial placement, but most importantly, staying with that employer. So that is our basic mission over here. We do a fantastic job. We have some very viable um, schools with some rigorous curriculums and just looking for a lot of great youth to come join us and let's get um, their lives back on track. You all are a jewel in the Ward 8 community. I have to say that because, I mean, nobody, unless they know where you are, they don't know where you are, but you're in a lot of beautiful green space. Uh, in some cases, it's a residential facility too. Is that correct? That's that's correct. And you are you are correct. Um, this is my actually my first week here. Our, our, our company uh, was awarded the new contract to operate the, and it's no longer the Potomac Job Corps. It's no longer the Potomac Job Corps. It's the Potomac Job Corps. And so um, you will be hearing about us, um, and, and we will take our rightful place in, in this in this city, and there will be a force that will really assist this, um, this area with the youth. Well, I want to also welcome, because I think you all have a, not only do we have uh, E.T. or Hatanka Mind, What's wrong, Shelby? There. Oh, because we got a lot of people joining. That's what it is. Um, okay. So should I tell them? Yes. yes. Okay. We have we have a lot of I think folks who are joining our feed that we make they have a problem. So if you are not on the show, I have to ask everybody, please um, go out. Um, we will post where you can watch the show. Um, but this feed that you're in right now is for the guests. So we don't want to lose people because this is so important. Um, but I want to say to you, Mr. Willis, you are, you know, you're running some of the programs there, right? And uh, so tell us, tell us about the programs that you all are offering at uh, the Potomac Job Corps. Um, well, first, I'd say thank you. Thank you for having me. It's truly an honor to be here. Uh, Potomac Job Corps um, is, uh, we separate our trades into hard and soft trades, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but we here offer a lot of good trades, some of them being hotel and lodging, culinary, where you'll see uh, Hatengi Mana, he's a culinary student, things like uh, building construction technology, carpentry, cement, and we even have a high school and GED program. That's really great. Um, and I think that, um, like, like I was saying, you're sort of a jewel in the community. Um, for all of the students who are watching, I wanna say, you know, you're, you're doing, uh, we have had experiences with the Potomac Job Corps, uh, with the Martin Luther King Parade and other things that we've done throughout the year. So we know how great, uh, at least from the outside looking in, the program is for young people. How do they get to your door though? How do they get into the program? And I'm gonna ask uh, Hintengamana to tell his story, but I wanna know how do, how do young people learn about the program and get in? Uh, I, I'd, li I'd like to comment on uh, the being the jewel. Yeah, yeah, we are uh, one of the nation's best kept secrets. Uh, unfortunately, the um, now there's a couple of ways that you can get into the program. Um, if you visit www.jobcore.gov, that's J-O-B-C-O-R-P-S dot gov, um, you'll be able to find out a lot of ways about the, a lot of um, information about the new virtual enrollment. And there's also a number. 
that's uh, presented right there below. And that's gonna be a good way to talk to one of our admission counselors and they can tell you a lot of information as well. Uh, young people are, you know, they're, they're, you know, not always successful in traditional uh, school environments, um, don't feel supported, um, they drop out, uh, decide, not, not sure what to do with their lives. Um, and so this is an alternative for them, right? We, it is an alternative, but we don't like to use that phrase anymore. We would okay. like, to be, we'd like to be considered one of the first choices. You're coming out of high school or you're having, let's say even trouble in high school, you can think, well, I can go to college, I can go to community college, I can go to the military. And now we want to say, I can go to job court too. Uh, we want to be one of the first thoughts in, in a young person's mind when they're considering options. Uh, Tangamana, I want to bring you in now uh, because I keep seeing you nod this way and you're kind of like the amen corner over there, but it's basically because of your own experience. You can feel free to give a shout out to your classmates because I know that they're watching and I know they're cheering you on. But uh, tell us, how did you end up uh, in the uh, with uh, the Potomac uh, Job Corps? And I see that beautiful kitchen behind you. So I, wanna, I know there's a story about that as well. Uh, when I first started Job Corps, I was, well, when I first started Job Corps, before that, I was in the military school for six months. And that's where I, that's where I found out about the Job Corps program. Uh, I found out that it was a free program. It helps you get your license, your uh, GD, high school diploma, or a trade. And right now I'm, T I'm taking up the culinary arts trade and everything's going good right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that smile. And I can tell that it's going good because, um, you know, I, and I want to also give a shout out to one of your classmates who got here so early, uh, Jermon, I think was his name. Uh, so I know that you all are teaching them about being places on time because uh, he was here early as well as you. Um, I mean, what did you, before you went to Job Corps, what were your career thoughts? What, what did you think or have in your plans for the future? I've always wanted to be a chef. I'm, I've been dreaming of becoming a chef since I was five. You know, my dad was a chef. And, yeah, he was a chef in Africa. When we got here, uh, that was my dream. And so here you are on your way. Um, what kind of commitment does the Job Corps require? Uh, and, 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 you know, Ms. Mr. Willis or Hilliard, either one of you all can answer that question, because then I want to go back to find out um, why ET decided to make that commitment. But what, what, what does a young person commit to when they join uh, Job Corps? Yes, the, the, the student commits to coming to Job Corps to better their life. And I always say that we're not looking for a perfect student. We're just looking for a student who's going to be vulnerable, who's going to be transparent, but someone who will trust us to um, take them on a journey to to better their lives. Uh, Job Corps is a fantastic program. Students that are interested can go to another link is uh, recruiting.jobcorps. And uh, we also have another number at 1-800-733-JOBS, J-O-B-S. And so if there's any young person that's interested who really wants a fantastic experience with a great technical school, uh, we ask that you please reach out to us and we will guarantee change your life. And we're talking about males and females. Um, I'd like to ask Mr. Willis too about partnerships because here um, um, ET is now you know, in culinary arts, he's learning in a facility, but then of course he's looking towards, you know, where is this gonna take him? So how does Job Corps help? Uh, and what kind of partnerships uh, do you rely on to make sure that there is a path, you know, a career path for your, your students? Um, across Job Corps as a nation, hundreds and hundreds of partnerships. Here we have dozens. Uh, if I highlight a couple, we have GAF Roofing is a construction company, yeah. Sodexo, a culinary arts program. Um, uh, one that I'm very proud of is the uh, Gun uh, Jobs Not Guns initiative here in Ward 7 and Ward 8. I'm um, helping promoting the uh, labor market in the uh, DC community and helping to, to mitigate violence here. Um, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the partnerships that we build don't just help the students while they're on center, but it helps uh, set them up for successful careers afterwards. We want to make sure that these, these partnerships just aren't 
like with, uh, with, with organizations that are gonna help promote them, we wanna make sure that they have career options and promotion and promotability and, and a, a healthy income. Uh, we really wanna make sure we look out for our students moving forward because this is the beginning. We don't wanna just stop right after graduation and say, oh, they have a job at, uh, at McDonald's or, or, or a fast food chain. We wanna see them, see them rise. We wanna see them be um, White House chef like, like uh, Hata, uh, Hatani Mana can aspire to be. Wonderful, fantastic, go ahead. Yes, I would just also like to say, Mr. Willis did um, state early that the vision of Job Corps has changed tremendously. And um, we used to think Job Corps is the place where the bad kids go or the dropouts go. Um, our program now is, is we feel like we want it to be the first choice. The federal government spends a lot of money, including you. We pay tax dollars to fund Job Corps. And so the, the government is requiring or, or mandating that when students show up to our facility, that they are educated and that they are put in rigorous uh, uh, or given rigorous curriculum that will render students being placed in viable careers. So we have a lot of important tracks that students can go on. We have internships with great companies um, that will lead to long term employment. And so uh, placement starts day one. We have internal systems that will students will develop plans that will render positive outcomes. And so when you look at Potomac Job Corps Center, this center will render the outcomes. And that is your federal facilities will assist us in educating and putting these young people in viable careers. Fantastic. And and um, I, I'm going to revert to your nickname, even though I don't like using nicknames, uh, Hatanka Mandi, but I'm going to call you E.T. Uh, and I want you to talk about, um, because I'm going to give you the last word. Uh, about your commitment. When you when you signed up for Job Corps, you you made a commitment, and I want to you know hear about that process for you. Um, you know about why you thought this was the best choice for you. Well, when I first started Job Corps, I I didn't really think of it as as a stepping stone. I just thought of it. Oh, I'm here just to get certain things, I'm gonna get out of here. Once I get my high school, I'm gonna leave. But uh, a couple months in in the program, I started realizing that I actually needed everything that Jaco was giving me. And the culinary arts program really helped me change my, change my mindset, taught me that I have to put my stuff, my uh, the stuff that I want to do first before anything else. And Job Corps has just been a really good help for me. And how long is the program for you? When when will you graduate? Uh, I would say two three months. All right. Yeah. We got a graduation in store. Okay. Woohoo. <laughs> and how many will be coming out in that class, uh, Mr. Willis and Mr. Hillary? How many will be walking across the stage or waving their hats or whatever? What, what, what right. The, the, yes. The way the work, Job Corps works, we bring in inputs every two weeks. We're bringing in roughly 20 students every two weeks. And um, every week, um, we don't have a major graduation except for once a year, but graduates will exit our program as they complete the program, which is roughly about 12 to 15 students that leave the program every month. Wonderful. I'm going to invite you when we have our first graduation, we have a big, huge celebration and uh, we're going to invite you guys back over to our graduation. We look forward to that, uh, especially since we can, we'll be able to come now, even if we have to come mass, we want to be there. Uh, and celebrate. And um, just another a side question, uh, Etienne, because you said your family's from Africa. What, what part of what part of the continent is your family from? I was Which born country? in Tanzania. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Yes. And when did you come to the U.S.? 2007. Wow. So that's a lot of transition. And and just yeah. to see that you still have you you know you're working on your future and doing what your dad did. And uh, I'm looking forward to some great food too. Check out Black Restaurant Week. I just got to tell you that. Make sure you Good check map. out Black Restaurant Week. There might be a restaurant out there that's waiting for you <laughs> to come on in after you graduate. Yeah, Gentlemen, right. thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we really appreciate uh, the fact that you took this time 
and uh, we're glad that you're here in the community and um, we hope that folks will pass the word along and um, uh, everybody out there uh, from Job Corps, you know, we thank you for joining us. All the students, keep up the great work. Always remember, Job Corps works. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. My pleasure.